Have you ever found yourself in a situation that you wished you could use your real camera to do an Instagram or TikTok live session? Or that you could use your phone to do a top-down view of the table you're working on for your live stream while still being able to read chat? Well, then the in-stream from Yololive might be the solution you're looking for. Hey there, I am Greeny, this is Greenbox, and in this review, we will take a look at the Yololive in-stream all-in-one encoder. In a nutshell, we are looking at an Android phone that can accept external camera and audio signals via HDMI or USB to stream them directly to Instagram, TikTok or Zoom using the official apps. That's right, no need to build workarounds with complicated streaming software, camera capture cards or third-party live streaming services. All you need are the official apps. As a disclaimer, this video is not a sponsored video. However, Yololive was kind enough to send one of their in-streams over for review and testing purposes. As of filming this review, the in-stream is currently on software version 1.1 and Yololive already has confirmed that there will be additional features coming to the device in the future. If you're missing a feature or app from this review, checking the current product page might be a good idea. Let's start with what's in the box. Inside the box, we get a screen protector, the in-stream device itself, user documentation, a USB-C charging cable, a hot shoe mount for mounting the in-stream to a camera, a ZIM eject pin, as well as an Allen key for tightening the hot shoe tilt joint. Let's have a closer look at the in-stream itself. On one side, we find two HDMI ports, one USB-A port, a one quarter inch screw hole for mounting, one gigabit ethernet port, one HDMI out port, as well as a USB-C port for charging the device. On the other side of the device, we find one headphone check, one microphone, as well as line in check, another one quarter inch screw hole, a full sized SD card reader, as well as the SIM card slot. And finally, the power button. The back and other sides of the device are all clean and with no additional ports. Personally, I would have loved to see another set of one quarter inch screw holes to give additional options for mounting accessories, just like small lights or microphones. In this review, we will not have time to look into every feature of the device in full depth. If you're looking for a tour of the device, check out the video in the info card that I already did about that. The big selling point of the in-stream has to be its all-in-one capability. It's a recorder, live switcher, encoder and monitor all in one. And thanks to its built-in battery, as well as SIM card, you can go live anywhere without the need for any additional computer or smartphone. Let's have a quick look at some of the top features of this device. Connect up to two cameras simultaneously over HDMI. All cameras that I have tested got picked up within seconds. Additionally, you can connect one USB camera like a webcam to the in-stream. During testing, I learned that USB 3.1 devices like the Elgato Camlink 4K are currently not recognized by the system. Play videos and display graphics directly from the SD card. Set up picture-in-picture -picture with up to three sources using the predefined layouts. Set up custom graphics like lower thirds or countdowns with the built-in editor. Flip and rotate sources individually. Remove green screen from backgrounds with chroma keying. Use side menus to quickly switch cameras or mix audio. Use the official apps to go live and enjoy first party features like joining another one's live stream. And set apps to full screen to get a good look on the live chat. During the three weeks in which I have tested the in-stream, I did not once find a problem that would have prevented me from going live. Also, the way many features are implemented is very straightforward and simple to understand. So far, I have tested the in-stream in two scenarios. First, in a studio setup where I am sitting on a table and manage the entire live stream by myself, as well as in an on-the-go live stream setup where I am behind the camera and following someone else around. In both scenarios, the device performed well and I was impressed with the ease of use of the device. Let's take a moment and take a look at some of the features a little bit closer. A feature I really do appreciate of the in-stream is the HDMI out port. The HDMI port allows you to connect any display to the in-stream. On that display, you can either mirror the in-stream's touchscreen or just display the program out video, which is the same signal which is also being sent to the apps. This feature, by the way, is also how I recorded the screen of the in-stream for this video. Connectivity-wise, the in-stream was flawless. I have tested connecting the device via Wi-Fi, Ethernet cable and even mobile data. And in all cases, the internet performed as expected and I did not have connection problems during any live sessions. 
Yololive claims the battery life of the InStream to be more than three hours. In all of my testings, battery life never became a problem. However, I have to mention at this point that I am not verified on Instagram, so I couldn't even live stream for longer than one hour at a time. When it comes to the ease of use of the software, I want to highlight the work the Yololift team has put into the overlay feature. When working with other live switching systems, setting up overlays often is one of the more time consuming and complicated tasks. With the InStream, loading a custom overlay graphic is as simple as hitting a big red plus button and then selecting an image from the SD card or external USB storage. Setting up low efforts or countdown timers is just as simple thanks to the provided templates that can be adjusted using the built-in editor. Another feature worth mentioning is the live audio mixer. The InStream shows you every audio source in a list and allows you to adjust the volume without having to jump in any submenus. This is super useful if you have to quickly adjust volumes because the sound might be too loud or too quiet. The InStream also supports switching audio sources based on what's on the stream. So for example, if you have two cameras with two separate microphones, you can set up the InStream to switch the microphone when you switch the camera. A last setting I want to highlight in this review are the recording limits. The InStream allows you to automatically split your recordings into evenly long video files. This is super useful if for example you run out of power and for some reason your recording got corrupted. Instead of losing all your video, you might only lose the last three minutes or so, while all the other parts that already got saved in its own file are safe and are not affected. This feature should be used by more people and looking at my video on how to recover corrupted video files, many people probably agree. With all of that said, the device is not perfect though and there are some things that bother me quite a bit. To be super fair here, a part of my daily job is to produce live streams with systems that are worth tens of thousands of dollars and I just grew to a point where I expect systems to just work the way I want them to work. The in-stream from Yololiv absolutely delivers what it promises to do. There are just a few things that in my opinion would make the device much more powerful than it already is. For example, why do I have to log into a Yololiv account? I understand that companies want to know who is using the devices and how many are actively used out there, but from what I have seen, there's absolutely no benefit to using a Yololiv account to the user whatsoever. I would understand if the account is needed when the device is accessing some of the Yolocast web services, like multi-streaming, but I have not found any way to use them. Since the InStream is basically a big Android smartphone, I don't understand why there is no App Store available on it. I can understand that developers might not want users to install apps they have not tested their hardware on before. Fair. But an even bigger issue in my eyes is the fact that there is no way to update the pre-installed apps like Instagram or TikTok. As I understand the situation, the only way to get updates for those apps is through a software update for the entire in-stream. Which means that we would have to wait for Yololiv to provide a new device update to get new app features. Speaking of apps, there is no YouTube app. I understand that the in-stream is really meant for vertical live streaming and that there are other Yolobox products that are meant for YouTube and Facebook streamers. However, as a YouTuber myself and seeing the rate in which YouTube Shorts are getting more and more popular on YouTube, I would love to use the InStream to just use my external cameras to create YouTube Shorts in app. It would be so useful. Speaking of missing apps, another feature I would love to see in the future would be a built-in Chromecast or Apple AirPlay receiver. This would allow to cast your smartphone screen to the InStream and then use the smartphone screen as a video source. This could be hyper useful for mobile game streamers, which do exist. Looking at translation of the device, it is pretty well translated into English. However, there are certain situations in which all you get on the screen are Chinese characters. I, for example, ran into this issue when updating the software. Having those screens translated into English as well would just add to a little bit better and more polished user experience. We already talked about the audio mixer and that it is a solid solution for a touchscreen display. However, there is one thing which is a little bit distracting when getting started. While the audio on stream is fine, the audio monitoring over the headphone jack is noticeably delayed. 
I am not sure if this is a hardware or software issue, but getting it fixed would be amazing, especially for situations where you have to monitor yourself. Probably the biggest feature missing through my eyes of an absolute power user is the lack of options to send the live stream as an RTMP stream to a custom server. According to Yololiv, this is by design and the in-stream is solely made to live stream vertical video using the official apps. And there are other products from Yololiv, like the Yolobox, that are made for advanced live streaming. But in my eyes of a power user, this is just a limitation that doesn't really have to be. But maybe I just need to get my hands on a YOLO box product to change my mind. So if you are interested in seeing me checking out one of the other products from YOLOLIV, like the YOLO box, make sure to let me know by liking this video. And I will maybe do a follow-up review of a YOLO box. Overall, the in-stream from YOLOLIV impresses with its compact all-in-one form factor, as well as a complete feature set for streaming vertical video. During my testing, I did not encounter any serious issue with the device that would make me not choose the in-stream over just a regular smartphone for doing a live stream on Instagram or TikTok. Also, I am sure that I will use the in-stream without thinking twice if any client is approaching me that needs help with their Instagram or TikTok live production. The all-in-one form factor is just way too convenient as to not recommend it for someone who needs to have more than just one camera angle for an Instagram or TikTok live stream. As for you, if you're looking for an all-in-one solution to up your Instagram and TikTok live production value by using more than just one camera, the in-stream might be the product for you. In the end, only you can decide if the price of the in-stream is worth it to you. If I would be looking for a device, being able to use the official apps rather than third-party services would be a pretty strong argument for me to use the in-stream over building my own do-it-yourself solution. If you have any questions about the in-stream or this review in general, feel free to ask your question in the comment section below or join the Creator Exchange Discord server. I will do my best to answer all of your questions. If this review was helpful to you, make sure to let me know by writing a comment or liking this video. I am Greeny, this is Greenbox, this was a review to the in-stream from Yololiv, the all-in-one streaming solution for vertical live streaming. And we are now here on the end card. So feel free to click one of those videos currently displayed here. Those are other videos I did. And I will be looking forward to meeting you in one of those videos. So you can really now click because this end screen is over soon. So please click one of those two videos. I will see you there. Thanks. Goodbye. Bye-bye.